Hey, this is me. It's Casey. And welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. I know I'm a little bit zoomed out so far at the moment. It might be kind of difficult to see what you're looking at. I'll zoom in closely in a second. But in the last couple of videos, I had found out that there was glitches. There was bugs. Where you couldn't really progress because a certain character, Eric, wouldn't drop the soda. Well, I was actually able to get past that by... Premium. Currency. The Goosebump box. I ended up spending... I think each particular soda costs nine of the bucks. So I needed three of them because I wanted to do a couple things with it. So I spent 27 of the Goosebump bucks. But in the process, I've now been able to knock out two things. The first one is I've been able to move on in the Eric quest line. So let's continue with this. I wonder if Mutant Boy's Sword and Rifle can take out Chuckabot. Chuckabot? Chuckbot. Eric is deluded if he thinks his sword of rifle can stand him to Chuckbot's awesome assault sword again. I have to admit, though, I kind of like the kid spirit. Patrol the neighborhood, craft an assault soda gun. So I'm going to have to spend more Goosebump bucks, probably. Unless Eric drops it. Yep, totally has that. He doesn't, by the way. Patrol the neighborhood, what is that for? Oh, is that for the quest, probably? There we go. And craft an assault soda gun. So this is going to take some time to do still. It's going to require two of them. It's going to have to spend 18 of the Goosebump bucks. So there's that. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. There's also this over here. Hi. This required two items. One of them was the soda gun, I believe. The other was a robot device or something. It's all done. There we go. How anticlimactic. Nothing happened. Oh, I have to clear this as well. I didn't know that. I guess I should have. I just wasn't thinking. Okay, well, let's do this. There we go. So that's being built. In the meantime, though. Just trying to uh, clear the pumpkin, please. Boop. There we go. Oh, my inventory is full as well. And it requires more of this stuff also. Okay. In the meantime, I am actually going to be moving on to buying my second premium character. So I had thought about buying this premium character first, but then the other character, the Hellless Ghost, kind of had popped up a little bit afterwards. I'm like, that's so cool looking. I can't pass it up. So I'm going to be going with the character that I was really going to probably buy the first time. The most classic character, Slappy, which comes with Slappy's house for 150 of the Goosebump box. I'm really excited about this because it is such, like I said, a classic, iconic character. This is some of the other ones as well. There's Murder the Clown. There's also Sharon's house. And actually, that's really it at the moment. So here we go. Slappy's house. Time to buy Slappy's house. All right, I'll place it there for now. And thankfully, it's an instant build, basically. All right, here we go. It is time to unlock Slappy. Yeah, I've got Slappy. That's awesome. Okay, where is Slappy in all of this? Do they have a quest line? Slappy? Where'd they go? Slappy? Man, the bloody heck are they? You think you'd be able to find a puppet, for goodness sakes. Slappy! There they are! Right there, I can't zoom it anymore, but I'm pretty sure that's them. We have Give a Ventriloquist Show, which drops to the tape, Have an Evil Big Laugh, Two of the Toilet Paper, and Take a Harmless Ride. So I don't really need any of these objects, but they do drop two of them each, which really does, it can come in handy, it's less wait time. I want to show you all these animations, so I think we'll start with Give a Ventriloquist Show. Here we go, four minutes. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be him in puppet form. Like, an actual puppet, not 
Well, you know what I'm trying to say. The sock puppet or whatever. I've only can zoom in more though. I can't. I can't zoom in more. I really want to, but I can't. It's as far as it goes. Because I really want to get a closer up view of it. I can try zooming in with editing, but it's probably gonna look pretty blurry. I'll do the best I can. There we go. So next up, have an evil big laugh. Drops two of the toilet paper as well. Let's hope it's not as evil as we're expecting. Big laugh, here we go, be awesome. He's like, hey, 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 hey. I think he, his mouth fell off. Yeah, the bottom of his mouth fell off. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, Slappy, you will bury us all with your humor. Alrighty, so that is done. We got one more to go, though. We just gotta try to nab them. It's gonna be, take a harmless ride. Does Slappy ride a bike? I don't remember if he does or not. But he's gonna have two of the bike lights, so I assume so. Here we go, five minutes. I think this will be the best one. Okay, it's not the best one. I actually, I think I really like the other ones better with the puppet. And the, uh, the evil laugh. Well, this one isn't bad. Oh, he does, he does have a tricycle, doesn't he? I think he does. Boy, it's been so many years, I just can't remember. Wouldn't that just be terrifying as heck? To see a ventriloquist dummy just kind of riding down the street on a bike. Eric apparently loves it so much, he's following them. Eric? When are you gonna drop the soda for me, damn it? I'm so tired of comic books, even though I love superheroes. Build a small residence. I don't really know what this is about. Honestly, I don't. But I guess we'll find out. So there's different, like, I guess, tier brackets. There's one that's 700, which is small. 2500, which is fair amount, which is couple. And then family residence. They only said small in the quest. So we're gonna go to 700 one. That's quite a large building. Okay, it actually works there, believe it or not. And it's done. Why can't everything be an instant build? Is that it? That's all. It looks like it drops one just like random thing it looks like. Completely not sure what it's gonna be. But I am curious. Ooh, what happened? There we go. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's gone! No! What happened to the quest? Is there any other quests? Oh, there's not! A couple more things before we wrap this up. This is a piece of land that actually has been available since the very beginning. It only required one crunchy apple and one investigation file. Both take about a minute to craft, so it's really, really easy to make. I just can't believe I didn't clear it. And now I did! Which means I can actually take Slappy's house over here. And we're gonna move them. Right. There, and as well. I'll take this small residence, which I still don't know what it's for. Place it there as well, and... I guess I could place one of these also. It fits! Thank you! I love when things fit perfectly like that. It's like, I play so many of these type of games and sometimes it just doesn't work. It's like off by a little bit. I'm like, oh man, that's poor design. But this, you can actually fit all of the different houses in the pieces of land, which is fantastic. So that's the first thing. The second thing, I am going to be placing another character. Now keep in mind, this character will not be unlocked in this video. It will be in the next video. I think I'm going to go for the Lord Gnome. Unless there's anything else I could go for. That's free, by the way. No, nope, that's it. Okay, Lawn Gnome. 
Here we go. What's happening? Why did it take me there? Hold on. There we go. So it's a tower. That's really different. I was expecting a house. Huh, you know what? It's an instant build. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to save this to the next video because I've already put down the premium character Slappy and I like to make sure the characters are separated in every video. So in the next video, right off the bat, the Lawn Gnome will be ready to go. So in this video, I of course have gotten Slappy. I put down a residential area, uh, like a building, which I still don't know what it's for. I try to tap the thing at the top which is 1 of 100 with the little kids. It doesn't do anything, so I'm not sure what it's for. But of course, we've also got this clearing as well, which will take, you know, basically a full day for that. That'll be ready in the next video as well. So keep a lock here in the future for all of that. I don't know how much else is left in the game to go for. Because if you look in the inventory, you know, I've got pretty much everything except for Murder the Clown. And Sharon's house and that's it for characters so far So I'm hoping that something else will be unlocked a little bit later on But it looks like I might be getting close to having all the current content down We'll see though. So thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys have enjoyed this video Please remember to like comment share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you On the next one Bye bye guys